Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Tuesday, um, June, what is it? What would that be? 13th. As we are continuing along our theme of God's grace is awesome, using a bunch of 80s references to help us unpack everything that God gives us in our relationship with him. So today, we're going back to the future. That's our theme for today, back to the future. And the Bible reading we have for this comes from Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29. Here we go. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I know the plans I have for you. Now, what does this have to do with Back to the Future? Well, it has everything to do with it, because as we are given Scripture, we have this ability to look back and see everything that God has done to restore the brokenness that sin caused in his creation. From, from raising up Abraham and Isaac and the patriarchs and the promise that he made to them that all the world would be saved by their offspring, to, to bringing Israel out of slavery and making them into his holy nation and giving them his commandments so they would know his good and perfect will. All the way to Jesus Christ and his life, death, and resurrection to pay the price for our sins so they could be washed away and our relationship with God could be restored. Scripture helps, helps us look back at everything God has done for us. But it also helps us look to the future of the life that God is calling us to, the new life we have through the power of our baptism into Jesus Christ. As we seek to be fed through his word and sacraments and live as his redeemed children, he gives us a new future. He gives us a future where we are in a loving relationship with him and our neighbor. He gives us a future where we are assured of eternal salvation, eternal life with him. He gives us the assurance that sin, death, and the power of the devil have been defeated through Christ's sacrifice. And we're just in the mop-up action because the victory has already been won. So as we look back at everything is, at, that God has done, we can continue to look towards the future and the promises God has given us of a new life in him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, today we ask you to continue to be with us and work through your word and your sacraments, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, we can rest assured in the promise you have given us for our future life in, with you, as we live as new creations through your gift of grace. In your son's most awesome name we pray. Amen. You guys have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.